to my YouTube channel, of course, my name is DJ Frazy Zambia, aka the Zambian Music Guru, aka the African Music Sensei, aka the Visionary, aka the Corporate Guy. And this is a reaction video to BW3, that is Black Now White 3 by Slab D, a new album that he just released. So if you're new to this channel, I do a lot of reaction videos, a lot of, uh, you know, entertainment content. And uh, I do a lot of creative stuff. So if you're liking what you're seeing right now, make sure that you do subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you may uh, you know, get access to more of this content. Click the like button if you like this video. Let's get it going. So yeah, this is uh, Black Nawai 3 and it's coming through from Slab D. And uh, you know, it's, it's an album that a lot of people have listened to and a lot of people have you know, talked about. So I'm also just doing a reaction video to this particular album. Um, I have to say, it's something that has been coming for a long time and um, there are 22 tracks in this particular album of course there's an intro and the outro and I just picked out a few songs we're not going to do the entire album so we're first of all going to play the intro because it's the intro so it definitely has to be played and also I'm going to play you the outro and uh, among those 24, 22 songs I picked out just about you know four songs in the beginning I thought I was just going to pick like you know two songs um, you know, actually, I was, I, was, I was thinking that I was just going to pick three songs, but because this album has so many, many good songs, I just thought, you know, I should uh, go ahead and make them four so that we check them out properly and that we review this particular album very, very well. Of course, a lot of features, not too many international acts, but definitely, um, you know, it's an album that is not, you know, one-sided, like, you know, it's just for the hip-hop lovers or it's just for, you know, those people who love, you know, dancing or you know, those people you know, who love, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, any, any kind of music. So it's, it's, it's for everybody, it's for everybody, let me just say that. So let's get it started, we're going to start with, uh, you know, the, the intro. And one thing I have to mention as well is that, you know, a lot of big artists are putting their songs and their albums exclusively on Boomplay and they're not putting them on these other, you know, platforms like Spotify, they're not putting them on, on Deezer or maybe even uh, Audio Mag and you know apple music and so on and so forth and I, I don't know how it's going out but i've heard that not not no one is getting music uh, no one is getting paid for their music on boomplay right now a lot of uh, the big artists who are complaining that they're not getting their money and uh, the only person that i know of or any artist that i know of that actually got their music uh, paid for is uh, yo maps when he released this commando album i believe he was given uh, some money up front and then you know he he put up music exclusively on Boomplay. I don't know if it's happening for these other artists, but definitely he's one artist I know for sure that he was paid. And these other artists I'm not quite so sure about. So let's get it started. Um, it's just unfortunate that you know big artists are not getting paid. And let's hope it's gonna come to an end because you know a lot of um, you know uh, kind of like younger artists or artists that that are just emerging. Uh, we're looking at this and saying, okay, maybe we're also going to be paid. But anyway, let's get it going. So this is the intro. It's called You Are. And uh, this is how it sounds. Alright, so this is You Are. Okay, we're gonna leave it right there. So a lot of critics came to you for, for this song and said, you know, uh, we want to have our own identity, but why are we starting an album with a Nigerian touch? If you haven't heard this song, it's actually is Nigerian, and I think like it's all one of those gospel songs. 
and you know you might wonder why he decided to do that I don't know maybe it's because he wanted it to appeal to an international market to an international uh, you know kind of uh, market but I also feel like it didn't hit quite well because even for Nigerians maybe it sounded a little bit weird that that was used in that kind of way I know it, wanted, it was trying to be artistic and coming out like that but you know for me it didn't work as well but I don't know. You tell me what you think. I mean, I'm not a genius, and I'm not. I'm not saying I know everything about music, but definitely, I feel like, you know, he could have, uh, you know, taken a very, very different direction when it comes to this. He could have really, really taken a different direction. But um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go to the next song. Um, I'm going to leave the best for last. But these are the songs that I picked, and I feel like these are gonna be like hits. So this is the first song that I feel like is going to be one of the hits coming through from this album, and um, this one features uh, it features Dimple Williams, okay. And the reason why I feel like this song is going to be one of the hits from this album is because of the message that it has, and uh, it's called Sorry. So it was kind of like apologizing on on this song. Like he was apologizing, uh, you know. If you remember very well, there was a time he. Um, you know, sang for a kind of political party back in 2021. So I'm sure that is still on his mind and he thinks that people have moved on from him a little bit because he did something that was very, very political. So he was kind of like apologizing to people and he hasn't really forgotten about what happened in 2021. So this is story featuring Dimbo Williams. <laughs> something he did something and you know for me the only thing that he did and that you know something that I can remember is when he he sang for a political party and uh, yeah I'm sure you remember all you know all of that but I like the blend of this song I like the production because you know Dimple Williams did a very very good job uh, the producer also did a very very good job and uh, yeah I feel like it's one of those catchy catchy songs and people will be reacting to it because you know what TikTok plays a very very big role when it comes to music these days so I'm sure people will be uh, making you know uh, you know that that sound or reusing that sound on TikTok so yeah there goes another one but another one that I feel like is going to be a very very big hit especially for Lusaka um, I know it's going to trickle down to the copper belt as well but this song is called Father it features Vincenzo Mbale and uh, this is the guy who's been um, you know making noise in the past two years you know he's been made uh, a lot of good hits so uh, I'm definitely sure that it's going to widen well with uh, you know other people as well because it was a very good blend, a very good production, and also a song that you can you know jive and jump to. So. Let's 
people will be you know reacting to this song and also you know just uh, making um, you know videos to say father father and young can phone I know people will be doing this on TikTok so it's gonna make it a hit as well uh, not just in Lusaka but also in the Copa Belt and also in the entire country so that's why I think you know this song is going to be one of them and um, there's another song I feel is gonna make it but I was like you know split between the two songs first of all uh, before we go to the third song, let's just uh, you know go back a little bit from from what we you know we've done so far. So there's a uh, intro you are, and this one uh, you know is the intro where you you heard me say he did he wanted to be like a, more like an international kind of thing, and he wanted to come to be the Nigerian vibe. And then there's also prayer, and, you know it features um, Musubila, and it also it's a very very good song. I feel like I like this song. Um, it's one of the songs that I like, but I don't feel like it's gonna hit quite as much as the other songs. Then there's also a story coming through from uh, from him featuring Timbo Williams. This is a song that I just played for you in the beginning, and you know it's also another song that I feel is gonna make it. Uh, there's also you know German Juice features the uh, 76 drums. We're gonna come back to this song in a little bit. That is the fourth track, and uh, there's another one. This one is coming through from um, it features uh, Tiger Tonka and Raymond. It's called Kango. This is one of my favorite songs. I don't feel like it's gonna hit quite as much as these other songs, but it's also a very, very good song, and it's one of the honorable mentions. I don't feel like it's gonna be a big, big hit, but it's one of my favorites because it has a very, very good vibe and cash to it. So, a uh, good song there. Then there's also track number six. Uh, it's called Dangani Nilibe. Also a very, very good song. Then there's uh, track number seven, Terminator, featuring Femi One. I like this song, but I feel like it was uh, lacking. When it comes to Femi One, he didn't no, she didn't really quite do well when it comes to her, you know, her bars. Uh, yeah, but but either way, still still a good track. Then there's also track number eight. This one is called Dazata and features the Mandingo. I feel it's an international collaboration, so it could have been better. They could have utilized the uh, you know the Mandingo way better than than what happened in this particular one. And then there's also another one called. Um, Kakukeni features Tommy D. It's a good song. It's a good song, and I feel like it's gonna go down in clubs uh, because it has you know that vibe to it. Kakukeni, like he's was talking about, you know, uh, going out to the club and uh, you know just dance, you know, to your fullest. But um, the beat is different because it's kind of like a trap, you know, trap beat where people now have to twerk to the song. So yeah, but that's what that song is all about. And this is also my features market two and edition long. It's a good song. And it's almost more like sorry, they say a sorry song. So these two can go hand in hand. And I didn't want to pick similar songs. So this is why I'm skipping this one. Um, I don't feel like, uh, you know, the, 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 what's this? The, um, the bars were quite as heavy coming through from Market 2. But, you know, still, good, good, good track. Then uh, this track number 11. This one is called uh, Zinali. Features this more Coxie, Chewe, and Gordy. This one is one of the good songs. Actually, I'm, I'm also gonna play this song for you because I feel it's really, really good. It's really, I feel like this is one of the songs in, the, in this album. I didn't pick it among the four songs, but it's also a very, very good song. It's called uh, Zinari. It's, 
it you know features Gordy Zambia, Chewe and uh, Coxie and Dismo. I know Chewe didn't do quite much because he was almost like he was just uh, backing up Gordy Zambia, but still amazing song. Then uh, there's track number you know 11, which is called Hello Dear, and uh, features D Boy Tillem and uh, Black Kid. Yeah, Hello Dear X. This one we're gonna come back to this one um, because I'm gonna play. Then there's also Jagger Band features Zane and Crown Beats. Also a good song, but the funny thing is that this one didn't even remain in my mind. I can't even remember how it sounds like, so it didn't leave uh, you know that kind of impression. Then there's track number 15, Fikapwa, features Alicia Long. Also a good song, but I feel like it's not gonna be one of those uh, particular ones that are gonna stand out. Then uh, which other ones do we have here? There's track number 16, Zima Ningi, features J Cash. It's a very, very good song, and I feel like J Cash really, really did, did a good song and did a good you know, uh, work on it because a lot of um, hip hop lovers are gonna love it. It's also one of uh, the hits in this album, but I didn't pick it from the four songs that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play for you. Then there's track number 17, it's um, Scott Dichet, it features Crown Beats. You know, this one is the one that talks about, you know, going to the club and uh, acting like a blesser. So it's saying, no, it's a fear. Don't really act like a blesser and so on and so forth. Yeah, then there's also Neka, features J-Rox. Uh, this one is a good song, but I feel like um, the chorus didn't quite hit it. So it's going to be a very, very, very hard for it to penetrate, but also a good song. Then there's um, another one called Poverty, features Flix, ZM. A similar song to another song that was in this album but yeah also a good song also a good song then there's Kunta Kinte yeah also a good song and then there's Dear God featuring Franco which is the outro also good but yeah let's go back to track number let's go back to track number 12 it's called Hello, Hello Dear X this one is gonna be big it's gonna be big in Lusaka, it's going to be big on the Copa Belt because it's talking about the heck, uh, the ex, and people are going to be rephrasing to their ex and talking about saying, No, hello, dear ex, hello, dear ex. And I'm, I'm sure TikTok videos will go this certain direction. So expect to see challenges saying, Hello, dear ex, hello, dear ex. And people will be dedicating this song to their exes. And this is exactly why it's going to be like that. So let's take a listen to the song so that you understand what I'm talking about here. So let's get it going. It features Blood Kid D Boy Tell him it's called Hello Dear X. Let's check it out. I'm 
get what I mean, right? You get what I mean. It's you know self-explanatory. It's gonna be big on the Copa Bell. It's gonna be absolutely big because Blood Kid is there, and he's one of uh, the artists that are happening right now. So why not? And also, it's gonna be big in Osaka. D Boy, tell him. I mean, I feel like he's also appealing to the Osaka community, and uh, yeah, just music in general. So yeah, it's gonna be absolutely big as well. It's called Hello Dear X, and um, if you're counting very well, I played you a song called Prayer. Um, no, 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 actually, I, I, I played you a song called uh, Sorry. If you just Dimple Williams, that's the first song that I picked. And then there is um, this one, Hello Dear X, features the D Boy Tellem and Blood Kid. That's another, another one I picked out. And then the other one I picked out um, is um, Father, features Vicenzo Mbale, so track number 12 and 13. And then the other one that I picked out, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get to that one. But I would like us to go to track number eleven. Zinadi features Dismo, Coxie, Chewe, and Gordy. It's, it's one of us. I didn't pick this song. I didn't, I didn't pick this song. It's not one of the songs that I picked. But I feel like it's also one of the songs that are very, very good in this album, and it de deserves to to be played. So let's take a listen to it. It features. Uh, this more coxie chewy and body. <laughs> Off to him, I feel like Joe wasn't really utilized in this song, but uh, you know, he really did some good backup vocals. And I feel like um, he should have been utilized more because even with what he did, he was amazing. So, hats off to him. And also, Coxie came to with a you know, very, very good verse. I'm not going to take it away from him, but you know, amazing song. Not one of the songs that I picked, but I feel it's a honorable mention. And you know, it's one of those songs that people are going to be just jamming to. It's a very good song, but. I don't feel like it's gonna be hit as quite as much as the other songs. 
So before we get to the end of this video, um, you know, if you like what you're seeing, make sure that you like this video. Uh, make sure also that you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And uh, it's gonna help my, you know, my, my my channel like with their algorithm and so on and so forth. So this is the only thing I can ask for you. It, you know, it takes so much time to make these videos. So if you can just do that, I'll be very very grateful. Um, that's the least thing that you can do. And then also, I just wanted to do the honorable mention for my features market too and uh, Alicia Lok and also Kango features Tiger Tonka and Raymond. Let me just play just snippets of those two songs. Not not one of the songs that I picked, but yeah. But the uh, song of this album, definitely, like from you know what a lot of people have been saying. But anyway, let me before we get to the, the the song, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you know it helps out the YouTube algorithm and also it helps me a lot because you know it takes so much to make these videos, time and effort. So if you can actually do that, I'll be very very glad. Um, you know it's actually free, so you know just go ahead and do the like, and that is the only thing I'm asking of you. So thank you so much. For hitting that like button so now um i have to mention as well i feel like because there's no beef in the zambia music industry um uh, especially between market two and sabi that's really dropped the numbers kind of because um people used to look out for something like that yeah so i know people say you know it's a good thing that we don't have that but sometimes it's needed so that we have good numbers so yeah and also um People were talking about your maps not being featured in this album. People talked about uh, Chef 187 not being featured in, in this album. 
and a lot of people expected that he was going to be in there, but you know he's not in there. So well, yeah, it, it didn't happen. Um, the likes of J Max also not being in this album. Bobby East wasn't there as well. Uh, with a lot of other artists that he used to feature back in the in the days. Uh, Tommy D is one of those that that's kept his place. Uh, if you ask me, Cleo Ice Cream didn't feature in this album as well. So he kind of did you know some different stuff. Not even the likes of Peterson that was in Black and um, that that was um, you know in in the previous albums. So yeah. Let, let's see. Look, I feel like also the female representation hasn't been good. Of course, Mampi is in one of these tracks, but I feel like two female artists in one album, you know, the female representation wasn't really that good in this album. So, a lot of, uh, you know, hiccups here and there. But I feel it's a, it's a solid album. I feel like for me, if you ask me, I like this album even better than Commando. I like it even better than um, the... Um, now, Imadeta in a Bonji because it appeals to the kind of music that I listen to. But entirely, I wouldn't say it's a better album than Commando. Not even a bit. It's not even a better album than Imadeta in a Bonji because you know those two albums were just you know on another level. But you know, for me, for me, this is a good album because you know, this kind of music appeals to me. But on an artistic level, uh, it didn't quite hit. So German Juice is the song for, from the album and, and, and the first time people listen to it, that's the song that they were looking at and if they can make a video to this album, it will actually be very very amazing. So this is German Juice features 76 drums and uh, you know this guy is just on another level. When you hear his bounce, when you hear how he does his thing, you know he's, he's just very very exceptional and a lot of big artists are really scared because this guy is talented. If you listen to what he did on this track, you actually feel like uh, maybe it was his song and Slap D was featuring on it. So let's take a listen to German Juice. It's uh, it's something similar from what he did um, in, in, the, in the Darkest Times or in Dark Times by 76 Drums. So it's like they store a bit of that concept and put it on this song. But still, a solid track either way. So let's take a listen to it. Uh, I want them more to see me. Yo, man, we like to think about all of this. I want to think so. Super so XYZ Detainment.
Mwazi mila kumayo nai Mwazito njibare na ribindala machila depa kanswemu Pamupa umani mchungulo tumasitela mupa kansheku Bikindi chinyam nyam Kuchamboli Chila kushikunza angwa Mwazito ni Chuu Mwazito ni Mwazito ni Mwazito ni Mwazito ni Mwazito ni Jaman juice, wakam aku mau pernah jaman juice mau pon no extra jahannya apa ya? Jaman juice, feature seventy six drums, awesome track, the best track in the album by far, and that's absolutely it. If you are to ask me my rating for the album, I'll give it a six, which is not quite bad, but you know I feel like when wash more could have been done. It's good that you came to read some upcoming artists and artists that are really really trending right now, but. You know, some of uh, the songs sounded similar and uh, some of the beats were kind of like repeated and also feels like it was rushed a little bit. He says that he, was been, he has been working on this album for a very long time but it kind of feels like some songs were put in last minute and uh, most of them because of a reference that he made. For example, he talked about Chida One and Tiana which is absolutely recent. Black Kid is a recent guy. 76 Grams is a recent guy so some of these songs were rushed. I feel, but even the songs that you know we are rushed are even better than the songs that um, you know he made quite some time back. So, yeah, that's um, you know BW three coming through from Sub D, the review coming through from DJ Frazy, aka Designer Music Guru, aka the African Music Sensei, aka the Visionary, and that's what it is. This is where I'm signing out, and I have to say, good good album, but it could have been better. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure also. Uh, that you do like the video it helps out a very very big deal and yeah let's keep on watching more content like this and let's put uh, Vizamba music on another level that's what it is I can I can keep on going and going but you know this is where we're gonna end it thank you so much for being here